in three games. They dropped the opening game in that semi-final, 14-21, but came back 21-17, 21-14 in an hour and six minutes. Our umpire from Thailand. John Hee Ju, Korean service judge. So the number one and two seeds in the final of the women's doubles. Chung Shu and Jiao Yun Lei of China, the number one seeds nearest to us as we look down on the court up against the number two seeds from Japan. Mizuki Ladies Fuji and, and Reika right, Kakiwa. Number one seeds nearest to us, Jiao Yun Lei, the first to serve. She's the one with the knee bandage on. Service over. One love. Now, over the last year, these two pairs have met each other twice previously, and on both occasions, the matches have been won in two straight games by the Chinese number one seeds. Two love. Winners of five career titles. Chinese pair, three titles in three weeks in 2008 when they won the China Masters, the Japan Open and the Macau Grand Prix. Phenomenal three weeks for them. Not a bad way to announce your arrival on the world stage. As far as the number one seeds are concerned, they only won one title last year. That was the German Open, having reached six finals. Five times beaten finalists, the World Championships, I've already mentioned that, and the All England, the Indonesian Super Series, the China Masters Super Series, and the French Super Series as well. Now you take all that experience in Super Series tournament finals, and you compare that to the Japanese pair, whose previous best in a Super Series event prior to coming here to the Korean Open this year was a quarter-final at the Singapore Super Series last so year. Four, four, one. So that's quite clearly the biggest match, is, match of their lives. I do actually remember w watching this Japanese pair in the final of the Austrian International so four, in Vienna last year. Two, and they lost in that final. There's Park Jubon, one of the most famous badminton players ever, now coaching the Japanese players. But as a Korean player, won badminton's first ever Olympic Games gold medal in the so men's doubles. Silver medalist at the Olympics four years later in Atlanta in the mixed doubles. Wide. Well, I think we can expect to see lots of those long, hard fought rallies. Japanese players, women's doubles players, very much are content to defend. They like to extend the rallies. Oh, that's well in. 
goodness me. Bad misjudgment Six, from Chung Shu. Oh, the luck of the net called on the return of serve. Service roller. Four. For which six. he just apologises. There's Fuji. Or acknowledges the apology, I should say. Short. Yeah, Japanese just lift the shuttle. He's a pair. Wanting to attack, feel it's wasted energy. Service over seven four. Okay. I think this could develop into a long, long match. It's interesting, the previous two occasions that they met, once was at the last 16 of the World Championships in Hyderabad. The score there was 21-16, 21-18 in 39 minutes. And the first time that they met last year was in the quarterfinal of the German Open, which the Chinese won very convincingly, 21-14, 21-8 in just 29 minutes. But I have to say, I do think the Japanese pair have improved considerably over the last 12 months. Oh, that's a beautiful shot from Seven, Zhao Yunlei. Brings the scores back level. It's more beneficial in the end into the lead for the first time in this opening game, the number one seeds. That's why better judgment this time. Nine, seven. Five straight points. the back line make that six straight seven. points You're four seven down now ten seven up <laughs> 